Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. Today's video will be one of you guys' favorites, correcting nails from another nail tech. This isn't my client's first time to visit me, though she lives pretty far away and can't come in often for refills. Therefore, she got this set done at a salon not far from where she lives. Her nails naturally grow downward, and with nails like these, you must shape and lift them. Or you could have them at a lot shorter length, but at this length, they must be lifted. As some of you may have noticed, the extension on my client's index fingers nail has completely fallen off, and that's because it was really bent over. I have noticed that most of my clients with nails that naturally grow down have the most issues with their index finger nails. They tend to grow downward even more. And if we look at how bent her middle finger is, just imagine how the index finger's nail was. Of course, with weight like this on the free edge, the stress zone really needs to be strengthened, because if it's not, there will be lifting and then breakage. By pressing a little bit on the tip of her nail, we can see the stress zone turning white, and this shows us that more material needed to be placed there. Today I'll show you guys how to deal with nails that naturally grow down, so if you do have a client come to you with nails like these, you'll be more than confident in creating a beautiful set. Before getting to the shaping part, we're going to do a little cleaning up. In general, everything looks pretty good, and there's not much to clean up. However, when I turned her nail to the side, the point of growth looked a little off. This area was filed far too much. The shape should always be filed from the point of growth and not along it. Filing like this doesn't only give us an unattractive shape, but can be dangerous to your client, so be careful. So, I'll be taking care of this a little bit later once we lift her nails. I will also need to create an entire extension for her index fingernail, where the hyponychium has grown out quite a bit. For this, it's super important to apply the nail firm on correctly. Do you guys know how it's done? I'll show you here soon, but before we get into that, I'll be applying a primer and an organic base coat. In order to have her nail form sitting nice and evenly against the nail, I'm creating a cut on the form to perfectly fit under the hyponychium. I am then placing it to her nail, making sure that everything fits nicely and there aren't any gaps. You also need to make sure that the form is sitting tightly against the point of growth. Once everything's been checked, we're sticking the bottom pieces of the form together and creating our extension. After our backing, I'm taking the same builder gel and using it to create the nail's volume. 
For this kind of service, you do need to take into consideration that you'll be using a lot more product than usual and the process itself is much more time consuming. And our nail is ready, now to fix our other nails. I'm taking a rather large amount of poly gel and applying it to the free edge. Then with my brush, I'm bringing it down to the nail plate. However, I'm not placing the poly gel right on the tip of her nail. If we look at her nails from the side, it almost looks as if the poly gel is just kind of hanging there. Then I'm applying a little bit of builder gel on top so that everything will be nice and smooth. Then once everything is smooth on top, I'm taking my nail drill and filing down the natural nail and the material's thickness, leaving us with this long and beautiful nail. Then just a little bit of filing and here they are. For our design, we decided to go with some fun and bright colors for summer. Then I'm going over our gradient in a second layer. After everything is cured, I'm taking a white spider gel and adding some artsy details. Now just to coat everything in a matte top coat and we're finished. I hope you all found this video helpful and interesting and if you did then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.